I've had the static issue with my Rift S for ages, ever since I got it. I've had it for months and I've made every effort I possibly can to try and mitigate the issues and just reduce it happening. And I've gotten to the point where it happens hardly ever. It used to happen randomly, whether it be 10 minutes into playing Beat Saber or two hours. It would definitely happen at least once within a two hour time span, keep in mind. But after I've done a bunch of fixes and I've tried different things, it has happened once in the past seven hours I played Half-Life Alex. So I've made this video before, you may have seen it, and I think I tried two things. I showed two fixes and then I put a list into the comments section of a bunch of things. So this video is going over the list that was in that comment section and basically showing them as like a visual guide instead of just having a text like a wall of text so we're going to start with the things that actually worked for me then we're going to go over the things people have suggested so the first thing that i did was i went into the control panel and went to power settings which power options i went to change plan settings so it doesn't matter which plan you're on it only matters that you go to change plan settings on whatever plan you're actually on make sure you're going into the plan that you have selected change plan settings go to change advanced power settings go to usb settings and just expand this tab as far as you can and it says usb selective suspend setting so i changed this to disabled it was enabled initially so i changed it to disabled what this does is it turns off usb ports as far as i can tell whenever they're not being used sometimes it doesn't work properly and it might turn off your Rift S USB port by accident or something. So make sure that is disabled. The other thing you can then do is go to devices and printers and make sure Rift S is connected for this. And you'll see your Rift S, you'll be a bunch of different devices, but Rift S should appear as a camera icon. If you double click on this and you go over to hardware, you will then have a bunch of different devices that are associated with your Rift S. So there'll be your headphones, HID compliant devices, Rift S, and you know, there'll be video, your sound. I'm pretty sure one of these is your actual screen. One of these is your speakers that are built into the headset. There will then be your cameras, the imaging devices, and that'll be the five cameras that are located around Rift S. And then there's a bunch of USB input devices and stuff like that. So what you want to do is you want to click on every single one of these double click on each one of those, go to change settings, and sometimes there will be a power management tab that, that appears at the end of this series of tabs. So the fifth tab will be power management, and just make sure that setting is turned off. So one that I know what happens on are the USB input devices, change settings, and there'll be a power management tab here, and just make sure that allow the computer to turn off this device to see if power is turned off. Because I think the other USB the other, the first thing where you're doing the USB selective suspend and power options is a blanket setting. So it turns it off system wide for the USB ports, but because these devices are part of the Rift S, it's not actually like a port on your computer, it's part of the actual Rift S as far as I can tell, it manages it differently. So if, because you can control these individually, if you have, for example, the input devices, so there's the input devices, there's, I don't think the camera has it, no, but it registers, I think the cameras are registered as input devices and there's the controllers as well. So I think I can turn them off individually. And I think what it was doing was it was turning off the cameras for some reason, because this is the one that actually changed it from like happening every, like doing the power options for the USB selective suspend changed it from about happening every 10 to two hours to happening maybe every four hours but then but it was still random it could still happen within like half an hour returning on the headset but doing these usb input devices and every single going through every single thing here and making sure that power management tab which isn't on this com3 thing but going through every single one making sure the power management thing for that if it has a tab is off was the biggest that made the biggest difference for me I also updated the drivers for my USB ports. So I would recommend doing this last 
I wouldn't do this at the start. I did it at the start and it worked fine for me, but I've had a comment on the other video saying it kind of messed up his Rift S for, for him, but then he didn't reply to my comment whenever I applied to him, so I don't know if he got it fixed. But as a last resort, go into your USB 3.0 root hubs and your extensible host controllers or whatever, and go to update driver, browse my computer, let me pick, and it'll have a driver you can use. If there's two drivers, which I think the root hub has, we go into there. Um, no, it doesn't, it only has one, so just make sure they select that, because it might have a different one for some reason, so you just select it and uh, click next, and it should install the driver. So it might just be the driver maybe was like broken or something, I don't know. It needed like fixed or reinstalled or something, but sometimes that. I don't know. It, it it kind of helped me a wee bit, but it, it wasn't very noticeable, so I would leave that to last, just in case that does mess up things. So that'd be a last resort. The next things I would do would be make sure that your wires are actually connected properly on your headset. So hopefully I'll have a video on screen of this, where the cable for your Rift S, Yes, it plugs into your computer, but it can also be unplugged from your Rift S itself. It's not hardwired into your Rift S, it actually just can unplug. So if you take off the faceplate, which is relatively easy to do, and it's relatively easy to get it back on, the side clips, the bottom and side clips are really easy to get off, but the top ones require some force, so just be careful with that. And once you get them off, you can either just try pushing the cable in, if it, you know, goes in any further or you can take it out fully if you feel like it and just make sure there's nothing blocking it and then push it back in maybe blow on it or something in case there's dust I don't know and push it back in make sure it's firmly in and then put the face guard back on then if you can just push it in a wee bit further if it put the face guard on because I when I was doing this the uh, cable actually came up came out a wee bit more whenever I was putting the face guard back on so the Rift S wasn't turning on so I had to push it in a bit further with the face guard on and that worked perfectly fine. So make sure you do that and also make sure you try every single USB 3.0 port on your computer. USB 2.0 I believe doesn't work with your with Rift S's. I think it requires 3.0 or 3.1's. So just make sure it's a USB 3.0 or 3. .0 something port that you're plugging it into and not a USB 2.0. I have tried switching different ports and stuff and I found that it doesn't matter for me but it might make a difference for you depending on what port you're using and you know USB 3.1 might work better than 3.0 and 2.0 definitely doesn't work so keep that in mind and that might help a bit. Another thing that doesn't hurt to try is updating the Oculus software. So if you go into your web browser of choice, I'm using Chrome because that's what I have, and go into www.oculus.com forward slash setup, you will be brought to a page where it has a bunch of different, basically it is, it is a software for each of your different Rift S or you know, Oculus devices. So if you have the Rift S, you can download that, the Oculus Go, Oculus Quest. So obviously this is Rift S, so you would click download software and it would download the software for the Rift S, the installer and everything. If you then run the installer, if it doesn't run it by default, it should have a repair option if you already have the Oculus software installed. Try repairing the Oculus software and then try using your Rift S after that and see if it still happens. Someone else commented on my video saying to just completely reinstall the Oculus software. So to do that, I can find an option in the Oculus software to, to deinstall the software. If you do find an option, I would do it via the software. But another way to do it, I think, I haven't tried this, keep in mind, because I'm not going to do it. But I think if you go to Program Files and you go to Oculus, I believe this tab is just for the Oculus software itself. So if you delete this, it should just delete everything Oculus on your computer and then you'll be able to reinstall the Oculus software from fresh. So you can try that if you need to and that might help things. But I would try repairing it before you complete the de you know, before you complete the delete software. Something else that someone said was that their screen was going but now it might help the static issue, I don't know. But if your Rift S isn't working like at all, or maybe it's not working every now and then or whatever, if you go to control panel, yet again, and you go to programs and features, 
and you scroll down to Microsoft Visual C++. As you can see, my computer has basically every single entry of Visual C++ that there is. So 2005, 2008, 2010, 2013. I think there's 2015 as well, which I don't have, and there's 2017. So for reference, my Rift S works perfectly fine, apart from like the static once every seven hours or whatever. And it hasn't happened like in the past five hours, I think. So it's going pretty well. And I have these, you know, 2005, 2008, 2010, 2013, 2017. I don't have 2015, so you can use this as like a reference as to what you have compared to what I have. So if your Rift disk isn't working, I would go through and download each one of these and just make sure that your computer has Visual C++ installed. If you do have these installed and you're having static quite often, I would recommend repairing it. This guy did repair, where is it? He, yeah, try re-downloading the Visual C++ packages that are installed. Basically, he was having black screen issues and he reinstalled the C++ packages on his computer and that completely fixed it for him. And he repaired them, he didn't reinstall them, he repaired them. So if you go to, you can uninstall from this menu as well if you want to, but if you just type into Google um, or your search engine, go for Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 redistributable, as you can see there, hit enter and it'll be the top search result. And you can type in the, uh, the link here if you really want to. And no, I don't want to buy a new service laptop, thank you very much. Um, and if you hit download, stop it. If you hit download, then it should come up with a, if you run the installer then, it should allow you to either just install it or repair it. So you should be able to do that. And I would do that for every single one of those if you're having, if your Rift S isn't working, if you're having black screen issues or if static's happening quite often. I know that in my work, we have some devices that have cameras built into them. And we use a piece of software to like kind of troubleshoot the cameras. And the camera wasn't being recognized by our computers because we actually needed Visual C++ 2008. So it could be an issue with the C++ that is a very likely thing that it probably does require this Noxie to run. So if your Rift S isn't working at all, or if, the, if it's having issues, I would try either installing all of these or repairing, repairing all of them, or just reinstalling all of them. So I would try that. Aside from that, uh, there isn't really anything else. I would, as a last resort, as I said, update the drivers to try that in the USB, your USB drivers. Last, last resort, like final resort, would be um, doing a clean install of Windows because I've heard that can fix it as well. And if you have some funny issues where your screen isn't displaying properly, it's not a black screen, but it's like half multicolored or something. Someone replied saying, someone left a comment saying their screen was like weird. Um, that I think is a Rift issue, but I just knew from my experience that the static issue isn't a Rift S issue. It's a computer or um, Oculus software issue. So it's not a problem with the hardware, it's a problem with your computer, basically it's a software issue. So, um, and it's not necessarily like, you know, it's not my fault that it, like all these power, sh power options were turned on or whatever, it's turned on by default in Windows. Um, and to be honest, the Oculus, you know, Oculus should have designed the Rift S to not have to fiddle with these options. But at the end of the day, this is where we are. So uh, just as a recap, do the power settings first. So go to the USB power options and make sure that's disabled. Go through your Rift S hardware devices and make sure all the power options for those are turned off. Then try the cables. I would try playing after you switch every single one of these settings as well. Try actually playing after each one of these and see if it happens and if it helps anything. Because it could be that you change one setting and it actually fixes everything and you don't need to do anything else. And there is a chance that if you do do everything else, even if that the first setting does fix it, then you might mess things up. So just, I would do one, change one setting. The power options, to be fair, I would just change together because they're kind of the same point. But everything else, do it one at a time. Try using your Rift S after that for extended periods of time and just keep doing it. And, you know, if you end up fixing it, please let me know in the comments section. 
but sorry. <laughs> Turn off the power settings for your USB ports and your Rift S devices. Try resetting the cable. Make sure the cable is plugged in properly on your computer end and the Rift S end by taking off the faceplate and pushing the cable in as far as you can. Don't put too much force on it, mind you, but just make sure it's firmly in there. Then you also want to try every USB 3.0 or 3. Point something port on your computer. Make sure it's not 2.0 because that won't work. 3.0 or 3.1. To whatever should work perfectly fine, and make sure the make sure you try every port basically because some ports might not work, some ports might. So make sure you do that because I've seen some people have uh, have said that fixes their issues. I would also try repairing the Oculus software or completely deleting it and reinstalling it. But personally, repairing it is probably all you have to do. I would try the C plus plus packages as well. I would also try um, if you're convinced the power issue, which I'm convinced that the static happening randomly is a power issue uh, with the USB ports, I would try the USB power settings and if you if that doesn't fix it at all, get a USB hub that you can plug into the wall where one end obviously plugs in via USB to your computer and then the other end a power, basically the power lead plugs into your wall, so a power socket in your wall and that should hopefully fix the issues entirely. I have seen YouTube videos, multiple YouTube videos of people saying just buy a USB 3.2 hub, plug it into the wall and that should fix every issue and that has fixed for them. I have no reason to believe it wouldn't work for anybody else. I'm not going to do it because my Rift S works pretty well now. It happens it statics every like once in a while but not enough for me to want to spend money on it so I just want to end by saying that the only reason the only way I was able to get this big list of fixes, possible fixes, is due to the comments section on that video that I uploaded initially a few months ago. I spent weeks before I made that video trying to find as many possible fixes for this issue as I possibly could. I managed to determine that it was a part issue that I was having and I managed to kind of fix it a tad, but it was only after the fact, after I made that video, that I managed to basically fix it almost entirely, which is reason one why I'm making this video because I found another fix. But all these other fixes are because of people leaving comments in that video and trying to help people. And I made this list, this list here that you're seeing on screen is basically copy and pasted from a list that I made and pinned as a top comment on the other video. And it's made entirely of either, I think three of them were fixes that I found being the power settings and they worked for me, but everything else are things that people have suggested in the comment section. So please, if you find another fix or if one of these fixes works for you, please tell me and, you know, just, just leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be able to update. I'll copy and paste this list into the comment section, pin it as top comment, put it in the description and I will update the list for any more fixes that come along that people let me know of in the comment section. And if this does work for you, if one of these fixes does work for you, let me know and I will put like a wee verified thing beside each one of these. So if, for example, updating the drivers works for you, then I'll just put a wee verified um, working or something beside it. And, you know, that'll let people know that that, that has definitely worked for someone. So um, I would do that, you know, so please, the only reason why I was able to make this video and the only reason why there's so many fixes here is because people let me know that this worked for them and just feedback is needed basically on this issue because Oculus has not acknowledged this being a thing. So please just let me know and I'll try to update the list and it might help some people down the road or it might even fix the last issue that I have being that the static happens hardly at all, but it does still happen. So it might fix my issue, it might fix other people's issues. Just it's worth letting letting me know and I'll update the list and hopefully it'll help people. So that's about it. Um, and yeah, I hope this helped. Uh, obviously if it doesn't work for you, let me know as well. And I'll try to uh, try to troubleshoot it for you as well. I'm not going to guarantee I will be able to, but hopefully I'll have a shot at it at least. And if one of these does break your computer as well, let me know because I'll just take it off the list or say it's risky. So yeah, but anyway, I've rambled on for long enough. Thank you and goodbye.